you have full flexibility in creating content statuses so you can align them with your document review workflow steps. Give them a name and definition. Choose a color and an icon to represent the status. Use statuses across spaces and across lifecycle configurations. Go to Content Status Schemes to define your statuses. Content Status Schemes are a collection of statuses that you can apply to a space or multiple spaces. In it, you can create the order and definition of statuses. Use our handy CQL helper to accurately define each status. This order of statuses is checked periodically by Better Content Archiving. When you are ready, save your content status scheme. If you changed something, don't forget to recalculate the statuses to apply the changes. Send email notifications and reminders to Confluence content owners. Open a notification scheme to make adjustments to the schedule. and CQL query that defines what pages to include in your email. Decide if you want to search in current pages in blogs or in archived pages. Then select the email template to use. Finally, specify recipients. For example, send this notification email to content owners as well. The Confluence page notification is delivered to the inbox of your content owners right on the selected schedule. Automations live inside schemes that you can apply to one or multiple spaces. Let's configure an automation scheme. It has a name, a description, and the automations in a specific order. Let's look at an automation for page archiving. Set a schedule for the automation a CQL query to define what pages to archive. Then select the action to perform. Currently, the archive and delete actions are supported with more actions to come. Let us know in the comments what actions would be useful for your team. Another automation would delete pages, but leave that disabled for now. Save your automation scheme. Let's archive this page and its child pages with better content archiving. Set an archiving date in the past and select the option to also archive child pages. The automation would kick off later, but you can execute the archiving automation manually. The pages have been archived and moved from the current space to the archived pages section. Open the content status overview to see your spaces and status categories. If you have many spaces, filter them with text search. Finally, click on the number in the desired status column to list the pages in that status. For example, this is a list of expired pages in the selected space. View the Confluence page status on the Content Status Indicator at the top of a page. This page status is determined automatically, based on a set of rules that you can configure. Some statuses and page owners, however, can be set manually with quick actions. For quick actions, open the three-dot menu and select an option, like Set Expiration. If the expiration date is passed, the status also changes. There is a quick action for editing a page and for confirming a content's relevancy. There is one for setting page owners for expired, archive, and excluded statuses with more options to come. On top of manual actions, page statuses can also refresh automatically. The status is determined by the rules you configure for your statuses. Better Content Archiving continuously checks the CQL expressions from top to bottom for each possible status. It stops at the first one that evaluates to true and sets the status to that. This is how your page statuses are refreshed automatically.
The job audit log preserves all app activity for audit and compliance purposes. The log makes it easy to verify all past events, their exact time, actor, and results. Every job saves a different type of app activity data. Watch the next tutorial video or start a free trial of Better Content Archiving for Confluence now.